So in the previous video, I started creating, we created the parts for our chain. Now I'm in the assembly file after we've imported them. And now I'm gonna to start to constrain them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to my revolve mate and I'm gonna choose the outside of this one to the outside of this one. I'm gonna click my green check mark and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, outside to outside, green check mark. And I'm gonna do the same thing here, outside to outside, green check mark. I'll make sure I'm on that correctly. I am not, so I'm gonna take that off. Uh, I'm gonna go here, and again, I want the outside portion here. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to fix this one here so I can rotate this down or up so I can do that same revolve that to this. Now green check mark that. So we can see as we have our first uh, link uh, done for our chain. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna insert in two more of our links and our long peg as well. Oh, I brought in, so I'll control and Z that. I'll bring in another one and then my long peg. There we go. So this time I'm going to constrain. I'm gonna do that same revolve, but I'm going to do, let's do the inside circle of this one, the center point, to that same one here on this link. I'm gonna do that same exact thing over here, that inside outer portion of that circle. Actually, I have chosen the wrong one, so I'm gonna to have to rotate this, but it'll, be, it'll still work to the inside here, and I think I can flip that. Nope, I didn't choose the right one, so let's try this again. So I wanna choose the outside on the rotate here. Now I wanna come back around to this side, and I wanna find that point right, oh, I had it, there we go. And my check mark. I'm gonna do the peg the same way I did the other ones. I'm gonna choose that outside circle to that, uh, So that outside circle to the outside circle here. Now, I don't want that flush because you're gonna see that that'll actually come on on the other side. So I wanna offset this on my Z axis uh, and I wanna do 0.1 uh, of an offset. So it comes out split. So I have something to attach my other uh, peg to so we can see that here. So I'm gonna uh, close this menu out and I can rotate this down. And I'm gonna do that same constraint. I'm gonna do my revolve from here to here. And again, I wanna do that same offset on the Z. It should be 0.1, but it might be a negative 0.1. Let's take a look and see what happens. Nope, it was a 0.1, so it worked out just fine. So now what we have and we can see here is we have our chain. Our chain uh, operates and moves or rotates. And we can see that here. Uh, my challenge is I know there's a linear pattern here that I can pattern this chain out and do 20 or 30 links. But my problem with that has been is I haven't been able to get them to keep the revolute constraints. They would just be static to what I had. So what I really challenge you, and I'd love you to comment, like, and uh, reach out to me, is how I could linear pattern, let's say 10 or 20 of these links, uh, then I can just simply go around and connect the ends rather than going through this tedious pro process of doing, uh, adding one link at a time and doing that. So I'd love to hear back from you. Please comment, reach out, and let me know how we might be able to do this with the linear pattern where I could still keep the constraints of the revolutes in the chain itself. Looking forward to hearing from you.